I'm saying this is the time more than ever that you want to begin to inoculate yourself with positive words to make yourself unstoppable to get out of your mind the polluting negative thoughts that's causing most people to go through life being stuck because they're volunteer victims somebody said that many people die at age 25 and don't get buried until they're 65 because they got so much garbage in their minds you've got a clear vision of what you want and where you're going the number one thing that's going to change your life, the only thing that will change your life, change your business, change your money, change your relationship, is you must raise your standard. Now, I know that sounds boring, stupid, basic, but it's the truth. The only thing that changes our life long term is when we raise our standards. What does that mean? It means that all of us in life have things we want. We don't get what we want. We get what we have to have. We all get what we tolerate in ourselves and other people. But when you're no longer willing to tolerate something, that's when your life changes. The difference in people is their standards, period. Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight, I should work out, I should spend more time with my kids, I should work harder. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. It's like if you want to take the island and you're the head of the army and you want to take the island, the most powerful way to take the island is burn the boats. Because if there's no way to go back, it's amazing what happens when it's a must to do something versus a should. That's what makes human beings succeed. People that quit drinking and quit doing drugs and quit losing their temper. And I've heard from so many different people that have implemented change in their lives. I want you to know that these people aren't a bunch of elite special operations warriors. That's not who they are. They aren't a bunch of high level athletes. These are just normal people, but they're normal people that knew they needed to make a change and they decided they were going to make a change and then they made it. None of my mentors ever had me focus on perfection. They had me focus on progress to just keep getting better. Little incremental gains every day, every week, every month, every quarter. And even when you move backwards a couple of steps, what's the progress that you made and what you learned? So I was taught that failure is an opportunity to learn you are not like everybody else. You can walk outside and find pigeons, but if you're looking for eagles, it's gonna take you a minute. You are different. It's lonely at the top. One great entrepreneur said, I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dull by having the state look after me. I wanna take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the still calm of utopia. I will never cow before any master, nor bend to any threat. It's my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid, to face the world boldly and say, this I have done. You've got to be tough because uh, the road to success is always under construction. It's never a clear path to success. The people who become successful are the people who have a relentless attitude. You can put so much focus on working that you lose track of your family and everything goes down tail with your family or you can do the opposite, put so much focus on your family that you don't do what you're supposed to do at work. Um, so you need to back off a little and you get people that waste time on things that don't matter that it's important that I do this thing this certain way. Mm -hmm. And the reality is it's useless. It doesn't matter. You're being OCD. People that are hyper disciplined about little things 
a lot of times they're missing their discipline in other areas of their life. And just because someone is hyper disciplined in their physical fitness doesn't mean that they're disciplined in their rest of their life in many other ways, whether it's financial, whether it's their relationship, you need to you need to back off enough on the little things that don't matter. So that the things that matter, you can actually take care of. Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue that's going on all the time, all the time. And so learning how to empower yourself, part of doing that is standing up to yourself. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up, you've got to do this. I was going to give a presentation and this voice inside of me saying, you can't do this, you don't have everything it takes. I said, shut up, I'm behind on my bills and you're telling me what I can't do. I have got to do it. You'll get scared sometimes. Your mind will go blank on you. Some people you will allow to unnerve you and you wonder what's wrong with me? I'm not crazy. That's why you've got to learn to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to stand up inside yourself. Working on yourself, watching that inner dialogue, it will determine the quality of your life. If you start to change the way you think and you start to learn every day for one hour to upgrade your knowledge and your skills. And then you take action every day on the things that are the most important instead of all the different things that you can do. If you focus on doing three to five things every day towards your goals, in one year, you'll be at a totally different destination. Five, 10 years, your life won't be the same. Follow the blueprint. Don't try to figure it out, just follow the blueprint. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Like if you want to fly right now, you don't have to figure out how to fly. You know, there's already a blueprint for how to generate or create an airplane. So if you want to be healthy, there's already a blueprint. If you want to make more money, there's already a blueprint. If you want to buy real estate or the stock market or start a business and grow a business, there's people before us that have already got the blueprint. And all you have to do is paint, paint the numbers inside the box and then you can use your creativity. And when you follow things that work, it's like having the combination to a safe. If somebody gives you the combination to a safe and they tell you, turn this way a little bit, yeah, turn this way a little bit, turn this way a little bit, turn this way a little bit, and open it, you can have access to it. But most people don't look for the combination. And then even when they get the combination, they try it in the wrong order. Program your mind deliberately. The reason that most people don't achieve their goals is because they are thinking like everybody else. You don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. And so you wanna take the time every day to listen to things that can help to program your mind positively because at the end of the day, if you don't program your mind, it's going to be programmed. Trust me, it's gonna be bombarded with all kind of head trash. And so as you look at your goals and dreams, it's very important that you are intentional about controlling what goes on in your mind.